We did, when we were younger, used to wait for it. Back when time was still wild and free, and you were free, we used to wait for letters to arrive. Maybe you remember that age. We used to waste hours walking around in the suburbs downtown. But as the song says, now our lives are changing fast. Hope that something pure can last. The voice of that song and all the ones we've heard this morning is vintage arcade fire, yearning for the beauty and the simplicity of a bygone era, trying not to forget or lose what it was like to be a child, the purity, the freedom, the humility, the authenticity of being a kid, and calling reality for what it is indicting, judging that flashing light that takes away our sleep and the craziness of our jam-packed lives. Isn't it strange if you followed the lyrics of that song that waiting would be this peculiar, nostalgic, long-lost memory? We used to wait for it. My friend Miguel said that Arcade Fire's voice reminded him of a kid listening in on, you know, you've seen the scene, you were part of that scene when you were a little kid and you were standing around with a group of adults and you were taking in their adult-like conversation, young enough to still be a kid but old enough to understand. And you're listening in on, for me, what was often these culturally domesticated adult nice conversations and everyone was kind of living the same reality and truth and as you listened to it you thought, no, that's not right, that's not true. Dad, that's not true. That's not what happens in our... It's that kind of a feel of a kid who's still young enough to call a spade a spade and to see the truth and say it. Miguel figured our arcade fire sounded like that. The moment he shared that, I thought, that is true. Having really gotten into the band over the last few months, all of their music and all of their characters seem to have this humble, childlike voice. And you hear it in songs like the one we started out with, with all of the voices collectively screaming together. It just sounds like a bunch of kids singing together. And you find it a lot in the lyrics and in their imagery as well. That song we just heard takes you back if you've done it or do it when you get home. Google the right name and put in your home address from when you were a kid and it takes you back to those streets and those feelings that you had to your childhood. You can also feel it at their concerts, which my good friend Brandon scored me two tickets for tonight for my wife and I. Thank you, Brandon. I think half this church is going to Arcade Fire tonight. But Brandon said at a previous concert that he went to that this is the most alive I've ever seen a band in my life. Now, Brandon's been to 5,000 concerts, so for him to say it, that's credible. And you see this childlikeness or this yearning in their lyrics, a song called Power Out, where they write and sing. Is it a dream? Is it a lie? I think I'll let you decide. Just light the candle for the kids. Jesus Christ, don't keep it hid. Because nothing's hid from us kids. You ain't fooling nobody with the lights out. And the power's out in the heart of man. Take it from your heart, put it in your hand. And there's something wrong in the heart of man. Take it from your heart and put it in your hand. Or the song Ready to Start from the new album. All the kids have always known that the emperor wears no clothes, but they bow down to him anyways because it's better than being alone. As soon as I read the lyric, I remembered that, doing that as a little kid. And I remember seeing little kids or young adults or preteens with groups of adult, modern men, modern people who've got it all figured out. And they're watching the scene play out and you can see it in their faces and you felt it in your hearts. Like, that's not real. That's not, is that really what matters? That buying that next thing, doing that, really? Is this what life is? And they've got this kind of incredulous look on their faces. And then to see the tragic moment in lives where kids cease to be kids and they capitulate to the truth of those so-called wise adults. I've seen it. They know, kids know the emperor has no clothes, but they capitulate because where else are you going to go? It's better than being alone. 
And what Arcade Fire is singing in so much of their music is don't. Don't give in. Don't grow up in terms of how you see the world and the purity and beauty of youth that you've possessed, you possess. Open your eyes, wake up, stay on guard, protect who you are as a human being. Don't lose yourself. Wynne Butler said in an interview in 2007, the lead singer for the band, they probably wouldn't even like that. They're so collective. Nobody's a lead. They're all in the band. Wynne Butler said, people don't necessarily know that they're taking on a worldview or absorbing ideas while watching television. It doesn't necessarily seem like it's happening, but it definitely does. I find it very easy to get sucked in. It starts to affect the way you see the world. Now Jesus, back in the day, offered the same kind of advice to spiritual God-seekers. He said, be careful, be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. That, those were two groups that were sort of the leading religious voices in that day. And they were seen as, you know, having it all together. They were really modern, modern men. And he says, don't take what they're feeding you that yeast, because it may seem that small teaching to be nothing much at all, but you swallow it and it gets inside of you, it'll transform and change your whole life. What Jesus exposed in those religious leaders' teachings, greed, selfishness, a rules-based, in-the-box worldview, a hypocritical society who say one thing and do another, those are the same things that Arcade Fire is exposing through their music and lyrics to our world today. Listen to a song called Intervention, some lyrics. This is Arcade Fire first. Working for the church while your family dies, you take what they give you and you keep it inside. Jesus. Moses gave you this law from God, honor your father and your mother, and anyone who speaks disrespectfully of father or mother must be put to death. But you say it's all right for people to say to their parents, sorry, I can't help you, for I vowed to give to God what I would have given to you. And this way you let people disregard their needy parents. Their family dies. Arcade fire. Who's going to throw the very first stone? Oh, who's going to reset the bone? Walking with your head in a sling. Jesus, let him who is without sin cast the first stone. Arcade fire. But been working for the church while your life falls apart, singing hallelujah with the fear in your heart, every spark of friendship and love will die without a home. Jesus, Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You shut the kingdom of heaven in people's faces. You yourselves do not enter, nor will you let those enter who are trying to. You've neglected the more important matters of justice and mercy and faithfulness. You're like whitewashed tombs who look, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of dead men's bones and everything unclean. You snakes, you brood of vipers, how will you escape being condemned to hell? Jesus was speaking those words directly back then, and he's speaking them tangentially and obliquely and subtly and mysteriously right now through a band like Arcade Fire and lots of bands who are singing of those same sentiments.